Hey guys, just a quick message before this video starts. Just want to give a quick shout out to the Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. It is a book absolutely rammed with information regarding anything HGV related. I don't care whether you're new in the industry, whether you've been in the industry for five years like myself, or whether you are an, a veteran in the HGV world and you've done more miles in reverse than I've done forward, there is something in this book that will benefit you, I absolutely promise you. It, we're talking taco rules and regulations, how to strap a load, how to hitch up to a trailer, uh, and also how to even get your HGV license in the first place. Everything that you need to know is in this book. Promise you, you won't regret it. Link is in the description down below if you are interested. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Anyway, enjoy the video. That is London in front of us. That is London. Hit for my wins, I need my hands This life is real, if they pretend Came off the bench, I get it in I get it in, I get it in Hit for my wins, I need my hands This life is real, if they pretend Came off the bench, I get it in I get it in, I get it in I'm on my job, I get it done, but you should know that Shine like a son of 101, you should know that I get the front and in the back, you should know that No need to stun, it's never cap, you should know that All I know, ten toes, never fold Bay and roll, on the go Good morning everybody, you join me uh, about 2 hours and 15 minutes later from when we left the yard this morning Not that you saw me leave the yard, but you saw me arrive, you saw me arrive um, and we're in Christchurch, we're literally a mile away now from our destination. Um, so this video is continuing on from the last video where we got loaded in Pollington with the bricks. Or the, um, they're not really bricks, they're like breeze blocks or something, something like that. Anyway, um, yeah, so we went home last night, um, or at the end of last video, and we started fresh this morning. I do believe I am on a night out tonight and potentially tomorrow night as well. Um, so what I might do is uh, is make a couple of videos out of it. We, we will see. We're going to get into the right hand side lane. Excellent. So yeah, we're delivering to a Travis Perkins. Um, I've not actually been to this Travis Perkins store. I've been to quite a few um, builders merchants down in the south area, uh, but not to this one. Not this one. So um, yeah, let's see what the crack is here. Are we going? Are we going? Are we going? Are we going? A bit miserable out today. A bit miserable. Loads of rain. Quite dark. I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to it lightening up a little bit because um, yeah, just when it's when it's rainy and dark, it doesn't make for good driving, in my opinion. I'd rather it was a bit lighter. Anyway, I believe. Oh, my sat nav just turned to day mode. <laughs> I believe uh, we turn left and it's on the left. I think. Like I said, I'm. I've not been here before, so this is going to be new. I think we turn left here after this bus stop. There we go, down here. Uh, it is a dead end down here, so let's hope I'm in the right place. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, there they are. There they are. On the left, look. A bit of an awkward place to park. Do not block entrance. Entrance is not blocked. You can get in and out and you can get lorries past me still. Right, so we're just going to wait here. We're just going to wait here. I'm going to go and see someone and uh, see what they got to say. They might not let me in straight away. So. We will we see. We put a high vis on because it's raining. Actually, I might put my coat on, which is in the side locker. 
Yeah, I put my coat on. <laughs> right, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, turns out we're in the wrong place. Well, we're in the right place, but the wrong area of the place. Need to reverse. We only need to go back a little bit. Whether cars allow me or not is a different matter. And then we need to go down here. Which is alright actually because it looked very tight in there. Very tight. So yeah, this is where we need to be. I guess we turn around somewhere around here. I can get the straps off while we're waiting, I think. So that's what we're gonna do. Whew. Right, see you in a bit. Right, oh, I'm drenched. We're offloaded. First things first, I'm gonna wet wipe my hands because uh, the smell of wet gloves is horrible. Uh, so, I'm gonna clean my hands a little bit. I then also need to clean my face, get my hair up. Oh, bloody hell. Nothing worse when you get rainwater in your eyes as well because it itches. Makes me itch anyway. Right, I've had a bath. <laughs> um, I always carry hand sanitizer on here as well. So let's get some hand sanitizer on so they don't smell so bad. Try and get rid of the smell. Right, to get out of here, there's a turning on the left and we reverse back into the in front of us here, but I can't make that turn because there's a lorry behind me. So there's no way that I'm making that turn. Which means the only other option we have is reversing all the way back out onto the main road. Shouldn't be too much of an issue because uh, I've been keeping an eye on the road and it does seem quite quiet. So we'll keep the hazards on. Yeah, the original plan was to turn left there in front of you and then reverse back. But uh, there's trucks in the way. Oh, there's a truck now coming in as well. You're going to have to go forward, mate. A truck's just come in. <laughs> The road that's been quiet ever since I've been here is now busy. Typical that, isn't it? <laughs> Nearly hit my mirror, mate. Bloody hell. Right, we will go out nice and slowly once we get to the road. There's a car coming out now. There was a car behind me and now I can't see it anywhere. You need to clear off. There's a car right behind me. car drivers. He stayed right there on the corner and I couldn't see him. Never mind, we were out. I had, to go, I, I had enough room to get out, as I was. I only shunted forward 
so then I could see the car again because I couldn't see the car, I didn't know where he was. I saw him turn in and then I didn't see him again. So I, that's why I moved forward and moved left so I could see him. He just stayed there. <laughs> what an idiot. Anyway, we're out now. We're out. A uh, bit of an event for start of the day. I'm told where we're, where we're going. Where we're going to get loaded, I've been before, so not a problem. I know where to go. Uh, where we're tipping. Okay, we can make that. Where we're tipping is in South East London. Um, and I've been told that the yard is quite tight. Very tight. I've been told that that even a bloke with 30 years experience thought it was quite tight. So uh, yeah, that's going to be fun. We're going to see that later on. But yeah, for now, let's go get loaded. I'm just glad to be out of the rain, to be honest. Like drying up now. Whew. My feet are soaking wet. I'm going to have to, might have to change my pair of socks. Because they're wet. <laughs> right, I'll see you in a bit. I for my way. I need my hands. This life is real, if they pretend, aim on the fence, I get it in, I get it in, I get it in, aim for my Okay, so we are here now in Faction, back up there, uh, I've left the ignition on because I want the heaters on to warm, to like try and dry my gloves a little bit, I've got two sets of gloves and they're both wet, so I've got a set of gloves trying to dry up. The trailer's there, ready to go, we also got to go to a train track right behind those bushes uh, hence hence the train you just saw when we come in but apparently we're getting like these long wooden beams being put on about four or five meters long uh, i expect there'd be like two like one on the front and then one on the back i expect and uh i think three straps over each one will probably do for that so we're gonna ratchet strap them up but yeah so we're gonna get loaded here and then uh crack on to south east london Yeah, my gloves, my gloves have been soaked, so I've had to leave them on the dash to dry up with the heating on because they're, they're drenched. Oh, that reminds me before we go. I've washed my hands, but I haven't sanitised my hands. Let's get that sanitisation all over. It's all over the steering wheel as well, but that don't matter so much because it means the steering wheel is sanitised. <laughs> right, good to go. Just, I hate the smell of like, wet latex it just it's horrible it is horrible anyway we're leaving can't quite see yeah okay yeah we're leaving we're now heading towards uh charlton se7 7ax if you must know if it's ramnick way or something like that gotta go slow down here because uh, oh, it gets displaced Yeah, um, and I, I've been told by my colleague, I said earlier, I've been, I've been told by my colleague that um, turn left into the road, then I got immediately east down the right hand side of the road, so the wrong side of the road, to take another left into the site, which is very tight. So um, that's what we've got to do, and then apparently it's tight on site as well. Uh, so yeah, and there you go, there's more money for someone who says every time I say tight you get paid. <laughs> and there's a bloody train coming again, we had to wait for a train on the way in, and about four, maybe five trains passed while I was getting loaded, and uh, now we've got to wait again. So, neutral, engine off. There's literally no point in having the engine on, because you can be afraid ages. Well, actually, there's a train there, look. <laughs> Any more? Barry's going to go up. Wait for the barriers. I ain't, yeah. Oh, does my my engine does that every now and then. I've got to turn the ignition all the way off, then all the way back on before it'll actually start. Into drive. Let's go. Yeah, loads of people I think unnecessarily wait at um, railway tracks with their engine on. Like there's just there's just zero point in waiting. Like. That time was alright, but earlier, the, the clip you saw earlier, I was literally there for five minutes. So, yeah, you can be waiting a while. Anyway, let's get going. 
and uh, I'll see you in a bit. Right, I've got to make sure I take the right entrance. There's a tunnel up ahead, it's 4 metres, 13 feet. I'm 1310, I won't get under the tunnel. Blackwall Tunnel, it's called. I cannot go under the tunnel. <laughs> I will hit the, hit the bridge, hit the tunnel. I've got to come off just before, so I'm just trying to make sure I don't go under the bridge. Okay, the bridge is in two more miles. It's a bit nerve-wracking because you see these high signs and you, I've got to go, I've got to carry on. I'm only a mile away from my destination, a mile and a half to be to be fair. And the bridge is two miles away, it's a mile and a quarter now, so I should be okay coming off at the next one. But when you see the sign, because the sign's been saying low bridge, ten miles, eight miles, six miles, five miles, three miles, and you're like, and all these signs saying low, basically the height, and I know I'm tall, I'm too tall for that. Two miles, it says now, half a mile I'm coming off, so I'm good. Whew. Like, I know i got to come off anyway, but it's just seeing those signs that um, it makes you worry a little bit. Anyway, we're um, we're coming off here, and we're literally just around the corner now from where we need to be. That is London in front of us. That is London. <laughs> uh, we're not going any further into London, thankfully. Thankfully, we're staying out a little bit more. Right, where's this turning then? You were so gonna go then. That car in front was so gonna go. Then he saw the police car on the left. Can you see the police car? Yeah, you can. That car was so gonna go, and then he saw him <laughs> and stopped. You're already over the line, mate, to be fair, so you probably should have carried on. These lights keep changing. I won't go until I can get a whole lorry in that distance. That. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, the lights are turning green ahead. We're going to go. It's going to get. It's going to pinch up here. Look, it's pinching up. So. I'm just watching out for cars on the left. There we go, right. We don't want to turn right. Take it up both lanes, because why not? I am a big lorry. I'm taking up both lanes, whether you like it or not. We're just here, just behind these houses we got to go, on the left. Take a left-hand turn, and then we're going to pull up on the um, on the right-hand side of the road. Should be a fire station right about here. There we go. There's the fire station. Okay, so we're turning left. Oh, why is there so many lorries here? This is not what I wanted. I wanted to. Here. Well, we're going to go straight in. My colleague told me to go straight in pretty much anyway, so... Right, we'll... Uh... I can't see how I'm getting around that corner in front of us, but never mind. Right, let's go find someone. Right, situation report. I've been told to go out. Someone's apparently stopping the traffic for me. I can't see him. So right now I am literally just hoping he's doing his job. Ugh. 
and we're just going to park that over here on the road as it's on Here. I'm just going to go back a little bit because my left is on the curb. There we go. Alright, so just going to have to wait here a little bit. Uh, I'll wait for someone to come out. Fun. Right, we're reversing back. Cars don't seem to care that I'm reversing back, but we are reversing back because we've just been told if we can go in now. I don't think I'm going to make it. Yeah. Can you watch me back? Yeah. It's a bit tight. Luke. Let me, boy, just ask me what my name is. Can you let us go there off of this building? No. No, I could get in, I just need to go back and get a wider swing. There's a van behind me now. Supposed to be watching me back, and he's let a van go right at me. me to be honest. He's stopping the traffic but he's not telling the cars what I'm doing. Now he's in my way. Take a bigger swing in. Here we go. Lovely. Turn those hazards off now because they're annoying. Take this as wide as I can. We're good. We're good. We're good. No one's told me where they want me, that's the, qu the, the problem now.
Where am I going, mate? On the left, yeah? Will do, mate. Raindrops on my passenger mirror, so it's difficult to actually see. It's got to be about there, surely. Is that right? Good day, yeah? Brilliant, right. We're in. Right, let's get these off. Okay, that's offloaded. Let's make our way back out of here now. Uh, we've got to go get some scaffolding boards from about five miles away. Wow, it's five miles away as the crow flies. Uh, 25 miles away, the way i got to take it. Alright, what's happening here then? Van for a second. If anything, it helps my angle a little bit better. Right, let's try again. We've got to take this as wide as we can because I'm not going to be able to see at all. Cheers mate, thank you very much. See you later bud. Um, yeah, so he's, he's seen the channel. He recognised me, so if you are watching this bud, cheers for watching. Oh, a, bit, a bit tight getting in out of there. Right. Let's just get on the main road a sec. Thank you. Right, yeah, so we've got to go get some scaffolding boards now. I'm not entirely sure where they're going. I haven't really paid too much attention. I'm just, just heading there to get loaded now. Um, I doubt they get delivered tonight, but you never know. Stranger things have happened. Anyway, I'd like to say we're getting out of London, but we're not really. We're sort of going out and then coming back in. I'm not going to block that entrance completely. Yeah, we're going to... Uh, Barking now in Essex, so yeah, I suppose it's not really London. Oh, cyclist, motorcyclist. Right, I'm gonna go. I'll see you in a bit. Oh man, I forgot to turn my watch onto battery saving mode, and I'm out for tonight and possibly tomorrow night as well. So my watch is gonna die. Oops. 
only really lasts like a day and then it needs charging. And if I'm on a night out, what I do is uh, I put it into battery saving mode and it lasts for like three, four days. And all it does, it just makes it all grey. Never mind. Oh, I'm also asked quite often what watch have I got. It's the Galaxy Samsung watch. Ah, oh, anyway, we've been here a while. Um, time now is, well, it's nearly five o'clock. <laughs> I'm in Essex and I've got to get out. Uh, and I'm delivering to Kings Lynn. Yeah, Kings Lynn. Kings Lynn. So it's, it's about 100 miles away. Uh, two hours and 20 minutes away. Going to be there. If I go all the way there today, I'll be there about five past seven tonight. That's assuming I get all the way there. I might decide. Yeah, I can make that. I might decide to stop because uh, that is doing two hours and 20 minutes driving, and I've only got two hours and five minutes of drive time left in a nine hour drive. So if I do get there, I will be going into a 10 hour drive. But I might do that. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to a farm, <laughs> um, so it's, it's going to be plenty of space to park in said farm. Uh, but it will be dark. I don't know if there'll be any internet access or anything. But uh, I'll probably just go straight to sleep anyway, to be honest with you. Whoa, what's that car doing? That car just cut them all up. So, yeah, that's what we've got to do now. We've got to do uh, shut ups. I'm not talking to you, I'm not talking to you. Yeah, I've got to make some phone calls, find out where I'm going to park. Um, I got his number. Oh, actually, my phone's in my pocket. Let me just put my phone on my mount before we set off. Yeah, um, I'm going to phone the, the bloke who uh, we're delivering to and just double check. I'm allowed to park on, on site. And then uh, I might just head there. So I haven't got to do any driving in the morning. Just get offloaded first thing in the morning and then gives me all day tomorrow then to uh, to do what i need to do so yeah that's the plan i will see you when we know a little bit better what we're going to do see you in a bit okay so i know you can't really see me all that well i could turn my light on but uh i could do seeing the road just for a second i'll turn it on in a moment we um well so you join me an hour and 45 minutes later after i last saw you pretty much uh and we're just about to park up just about to park up i've been on the phone to my mate and apparently there's somewhere down here we can park I turn left spin round on like a gravel track track and then park up so that's what we're going to be doing we're over half a mile away now so it's gonna start slowing down but yeah it's um it's half past six now in the evening so um yeah we're uh we're going to park up now, otherwise we're going to go into a tent. We don't really want to be doing that. There's a car coming at the perfect wrong opportunity, because I could really do with my headlights on so I don't miss this entrance. <laughs> right. Okay, it's just there. go this is where we are parking tonight we need to spin around in here and then we're just gonna park over here just turn this light on actually I'm just gonna turn it off a second just so I can see the trailer as I'm turning around it's a little bit tight but we'll make it We will make it, don't you worry. Excellent. What I need to do now is just reverse back on this track. And then park up on the, uh, on the right hand side. Okay, now we can just go over here. Excellent. And it's going to roll forward a little onto the right hand side. Oh, a little bit bumpy, but we'll be alright. Oh, here we go. 
this is home for tonight. This is where we put parking. We've turned that light on so you can now see me. Ooh. So a couple of things we've got to do before we clock off, which include opening up the back doors. So we're going to go do them now. I'm also going to do a final check, a final check around the vehicle to uh, make sure there's no damage. And then if there is damage in the morning, we know it's happened here while I'm uh, sleeping. Okay, there is home for the night. There's the truck parked up in this little lay-by here. We, um, we are by the road, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna quieten up a little bit by later on, so that'd be all right. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna do some day, uh, not daily checks, end, end of day checks now, just to make sure everything uh, on the truck is okay. Should be, should be. But uh, yeah. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate it. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. I don't know, I don't know how long it is. They're gonna be, uh, I'm trying to make them slightly shorter in the hope that I can actually do more of them. That's what I'm trying to do, so yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, do appreciate it. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe. I forgot what I was gonna say then. Drive safe, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Ooh, pedal there. <laughs> Bye. So I've literally parked in the middle of nowhere. Literally, middle of nowhere. And there's no phone signal either. No internet, no phone. Just a, a bit of a road over there and that's it.